What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. I'm your host, Daniel, and this is a new playlist called High Five because my intention is to create content within a five minute video that's gonna take you higher on the playing field. And in this very first episode to join this new playlist along with other playlists on the YouTube channel, I'm gonna discuss getting shit done. By the way, this playlist is probably not something you wanna play out loud with kids in the car. I will curse and I will come at you raw. And then you're gonna notice that there's gonna be minimal edits because I want it to come directly from the brain. I want it to come as genuine as possible and I'm actually going to not even script nor rehearse the topic beforehand because I just want to go right into it and I want to share with you live information so you can see from my body language of how I interpreted the information, how I overcame it. Now this playlist is going to be available and as it grows, I appreciate your support. So please like, comment, share. If you don't watch any other videos on the YouTube channel or the Facebook channel, um, make sure that you at least check out this playlist. Again, it's called High Five. Now again, going back to the topic in this very first episode in the High Five playlist, it's all about getting shit done. So here's the thing is that every single day we have given tasks, right? Every single day we have an objective at hand. We have ideally you're, you're planning your day ahead of time. Not so much so that you're completely booked the day before going into the next day, but I'm talking about at least 50 to 60% of your calendar at least accounted for for the following day. Does that mean that you know you got one task saying, gotta call Mr. Jones back, or I gotta pitch Mrs. Jones? That's not necessarily a task, that's more of an admin task because you've already done the major uh, task that's really gonna change the course of your momentum. It's really going to add to the big picture of hitting your sales quota, hitting your sales tier, or hitting your your actual personal goal and getting shit done is is you think just as easy as it sounds that's all you got to do but you would be amazed how many sales representatives go into the day look at their agenda or or their calendar for that day and they immediately start picking off things that they don't want to do and they'll start off with doing the things that they want to do. Now there's a difference between doing things you want and don't want versus doing things you need to get warmed up with. And I'm one that, you know, every morning, as you've probably seen on our other videos, that I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Starbucks. I love caffeine, I need caffeine. And caffeine just gets you into that mood. It creates the momentum, it starts the movement in, in, in pushing that, that, that boulder, if you will, up the, up the hill, right? And that's what we have to do every single day. It's like we have to push that resistance back up, up the hill. And if you don't have the right momentum or the right energy, whether you find it through caffeine, through working out, through meditation, or through self-education, or getting yourself primed and pumped by watching content at Sales Remastered, you're gonna set yourself up with the disadvantage. And so my punchline here is that when you go into the next day, and when you, when you look at your calendar, and you look at the things that need to be done, instead of looking at it as, oh man, I don't wanna do that right now, I don't wanna kill my momentum, or I don't wanna go through that right now, it's gonna be tough. You know, I want you to revise the way you look at it. I want you to really get a, what I like to call a catapult head start, meaning you're going to achieve one of the hardest tasks of that day right at the very beginning. Now here's why. It's because if you have a morning ritual, which I would strongly suggest, if you're in sales, being in an environment that's as stressful, being in a, in a competitive sport like sales where it's dog eat dog, you know, you're gonna be treated, you're gonna be kicked while you're down by these clients, by your competitors, by your sales manager, by your colleagues, by that top fucking producer on the floor that thinks they're the shit, and all you wanna do is fucking take their light away because we know and I know and you know that you're the shit because you've taken time to watch this video, you've taken time to master your craft and get yourself pumped, primed and motivated. So here's how, you immediately start with the shit you don't wanna do. There's gonna be shit on your to-do list that you just wanna procrastinate because it is human nature for us to avoid things that are hard to do. That's why a lot of our competitors just like doing half that shit. Here's the upside though, is that those are your competitors. It's not you. If you want things that you've never had, you need to learn to do things that you've never done. And usually that means work. 
just fucking work. So if you need motivation to get shit done, do this. Before you leave the house, look around. Before you leave the house, look at your bank account. Before you leave the house, remember why the fuck you do what you do. You know, only you can justify whether or not you are at the right place that you want to be right now. And if you're not at that motherfucking place, then that should be all the motherfucking motivation you need. But here's the thing, is that we go into the day delicate. We go into the day like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. How was your weekend? Fuck all that, bro. You got a motherfucking goal at hand, and that's to be the best you can fucking be. And if you went to a fucking employment, if you went to the sales floor to go chit chat and shit, then you can't get mad if you're not hitting your quota. You can't get mad if you're not making as much as the next dude because the next dude chose to put their head down and do the motherfucking job. You can't get mad at anyone taking your shine away because you never tried to fucking shine. And so I'm going to teach you how to shine. I'm going to show you how to shine. Motherfucker, I'm going to make you shine so bright people are just going to squint when you walk by. They're going to be like this. Because you are shining, bro. And I want you to know that it doesn't take fucking, it doesn't take a college degree. It doesn't take a fucking PhD. You don't got to be an MD to fucking hustle. You don't need all that special shit you think you might need. You just need persistence, confidence, and just a want, a fucking desire that's going to push you past all the normal shit that holds most of these other fucks behind. That's how.